Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Mad Games Tycoon. My name is Weasel, and we're going to check out the progress this game has made over the course of the last month. I played this game uh, several times before, and it gets constantly updated. I mean, every other day, there's updates with new features and bug fixes, so a lot has changed since I last played. I don't even know all the things that have been added. We're just going to experience it together. Uh, I'm really excited for that, and yeah, without any further ado, let's jump and start a new game. Player name, that's gonna, gonna be Weasel, and uh, company name, I'm gonna be super creative. It's gonna be Wheatley Studios. It's it's his great day. Company logo, I should have probably put in my Weasel face, or Wheatley. Do we have a bird? We have a chicken? We have a duck? Oh, man. No parrot, though. No parrot. That's that's disappointing. I guess we're gonna go with the chicken. Y you won't mind that, Wheatley, right? No, he, he won't. All right, uh, choose country. We're gonna go with the U.S. Everyone has like some bonuses on things or certain genres. The U.S. has, well, their first-person shooters and five percent bonus. I'll go with that. And game setting, uh, disable tutorial. No, or yeah, let's let's. It'll be fine. Random platform. Start with small office building. No, we're gonna start regularly. There you go. Let's do this. All right, me personally, my special feature. What's my support 4k resolution? No, um, my special feature is a uh, good good question. I do like sprites, so I think I'll go with sprites and my special genre. Mm, how about some strategy? I'm gonna go with some strategy. Game design all the way, programming a little bit. Screw suits, graphics, work well. <laughs> I can't touch it. That's That's disappointing. I'll, I'll go with that. It'll be fine. Game speed, we're gonna go with the standard speed, and we're gonna play it on normal difficulty. I'm gonna go hard since I'm missing so many features. This all seems quite new. Welcome to Mad Games Tycoon! Initially, many functions are disabled, but with time and more, features are unlocked. Very good. And one of the first things I'm doing is I'm gonna move my face away from that field up there. Okay, there I am. Aren't I beautiful? So this is Wheatley Studios, starting in the garage, or right next to the garage. So, as usual, oh man, things have changed a lot. We're gonna start developing, uh, building a little development studio. How about, yeah, four by four space. We don't need a whole lot of room. That sounds good. We're gonna need a door. Um, yeah, door here will do fine. I'm, I'm okay with this. Ah, okay, graphics, yeah, they definitely changed it up. How about we're gonna get some desks? I'm gonna go with the cheapest, obviously we don't, actually we have $85,000. I, I, I guess I'm just gonna gonna go with a regular boring old desk. Uh, how do I rotate? Uh, with the scroll wheel. I'm gonna put a second desk there because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hire someone eventually. Um, the head office. I don't even know if I need one right now. Yeah, I don't need one. That that makes no sense. Uh, a toilet, on the other hand, really needed. Always need a toilet. Oh, that's that's right. The items and rooms are now split up. That's okay. Toilets. Give me that. Jeez, that's a big toilet. I think we're gonna be fine with a 3x3 toilet. I mean, yeah, that's that's the best I can offer my employees, which is only me at this current point. Man, as I always say, it's a pretty crazy that you get to invest all of these things right away. You should just rent a house with all of these stuff in there. But no, I'm gonna build my own toilet. It's gonna be fine. Toilets, here you go. Oh, come on, in there you go. Tss, tss, restroom sink, who needs that? I, of course. Cool. All right, so now that we have our studio, let's just put you in there. Now that we have our studio, I think it's time to start developing over here. <clears throat> yeah, develop a game or some contract work. I think I think I'm going to start with developing a game. Um, topic. Uh, dwarves are always a good topic. You can't go wrong with dwarves. They're cute, they're hairy, and I'm going to make something for ch children. Let's make like a dwarf game. Uh, the Math Dwarfs. We're gonna make it like a learning experience game, main genre. It's gonna be a puzzle game with dwarfs um, for children. It's the Math Dwarfs. Math Dwarfs. Sounds good to me. Of course, it's a retail game and without an engine. We don't have an engine yet, so there you go. $18,000, I guess we're gonna develop for a while. And we're gonna do it on the PC because I don't have the money to license anything. I mean, I can't buy dev kits right now. Oh man, this changed a lot. My game's fan letters. There is no fan letters. I guess we can change up a few things here. Uh, gameplay settings. Hmm. 
It's more for the casual gamer because it's for kids, right? Uh, it's also beginner friendly. Uh, I want some atmosphere, some story. Doesn't need to be very long. And yeah, let's, let's focus a little bit more on gameplay. Like that. Sounds good to me. Graphics, sound technology, gameplay. Let's make it, make, make it fun. I don't think I need to worry about it too much right now. Just, just balance it out somehow like that. Languages, all the languages. Oh man, gets way more expensive. <clears throat> Let's stay with the US, 23,000. ASCII tech support PC speakers, sounds good to me. Let's do this. Let's start developing um, for all I can. Now it's time to wait. What is this, by the way? This is like a level bar. I'm not entirely sure. This is probably going to show me some notifications of sorts. At least I assume that's what's going to happen. And currently vampires are really hip, really hip topic. Maybe we should do something with that. Maybe we should. Oh, what's that? Game development contract. Ooh, Math Wars. The work on this game has been completed. It's tic-tac-toe. Yeah, let's, let's publish it. It'll be fine. New records for everything, obviously. We should find a publisher. It's the only way to distribute our game. And a puzzle game. I get Taitu. But we don't get a whole lot of money, but they have a puzzle fan base. So let's get started with that puzzle. Okay, we got some experience. And let's see. Your first game was completed. You can now build a research area that can research new features, which I would like to do. Um, getting a whole whopping... Wow, really good in terms of graphics there. 25%, that's... Not too shabby. <sighs> it's okay. 26%. I'll take it. Oh, there it is showing now. Which just means that I have to shoo my face over here now. Whatever. That's okay. Uh, moth, moth, moth dwarfs. Yes. Uh, moth dwarfs. Moth dwarfs. Math dwarfs. I'm really having a hard time saying that. <laughs> That's okay. Let's see if we make some money. I doubt it, honestly. I really doubt it. Okay, um, development research. I'd, I'd like to have a little research room, but I don't really have... I don't have the money. We need to keep developing people. Can I hire someone? Hire staff. Game design. I'm gonna hire a second person. Why not? Akim Sanchez. Game design. Programming. Graphics. Um, let's get Sebastiano Ortman. Actually, sure, why not? Let's hire him. Looks good to me. First employee. You gotta invest or you gotta go home. Gotta, gotta start early. Let's start uh, another game. Actually, there is game contract work. Some fans would have hired game length and math wars. Well, I didn't even know I had fans, but contract work, let's see. Game development contract, the dark brain. Okay, 20 weeks, salary 197,000. And it needs a 49% review score. I doubt I can, I can pull that off. <clears throat> I doubt I can pull it off. I could try, I could always try. But it seems, I mean, yeah, let's try it. It'll be fine. The dark brain, select the topic. Yeah, right. D dwarves. That because we, we know our dwarf audience. It's for teenagers. That should sell. And I don't have an engine. Cool. That's, I bet it's going to be great. It's just going to be fantastic. For the PC, let's do this. I have Math Wars. Some fans would have had higher game length for Math Wars. Oh, we can just look what they sent in. Okay, game length. Let's increase, increase that. More gameplay. That might be too much. We'll see. Beginner friendly. Let's move that over here. Since we learned something, it'll be fine. Let's just balance this out in the middle because that's the best I can do. And, of course, all languages. Why not? Bank. Yeah, we don't need a bank. Oh, actually, we do. <laughs> we do need to burn fifty thousand. Okay, that's fine. It's it's super gonna be worth it, right? Okay, is that the highest speed? Yes. Ah, this is gonna bankrupt us, isn't it? Probably. It probably is. But I have two people working on it, so I hope this will do the trick. Okay, dark brain. Don't publish it right now. Oh, sorry. Let's see if we can add something. Change room size. Uh, no, we can't. I guess we're gonna have to release. Actually, there's bugs in there, so let's... Let them, let them fix the bugs? Can can we fix the bugs? Change room size. No. Hmm. Oops. I wonder what we can... Oh, we probably need a QA department. QA. What about QA? Can I get that? 
I honestly don't know. Doesn't seem that I can. I guess we're gonna release it with two bucks. Yeah, let's publish it. It'll be fine. 49%? Not really, we're getting to 40, 41, 42, no! Are we not getting paid now? Development cost, profit. Oh, we only, oh, we only got 50,000. Ah, uh, it costs us 72,000. Bummer. Well, we lost a little bit of money there. Ah, well, Roar has released a dark brain. Good for them that we just did. Let's do some contract work. Write a story, Pony. 17 weeks, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll write a story for you guys. Yeah, I'm not too happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna build, I uh, still can't build a head office. I need levels first, I think. Not entirely sure how I level up. Um, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so Math Dwarfs is not gonna make any money. Develop new engine staff. Updates and language packs. Oh, right. How about we develop a game update for <laughs> Math Dwarfs? Yeah, sure. Let's let, let us do that. Let's just uh, develop one for here. Um, 2,000 bucks. I don't think we're gonna see it back, but if we can increase the sales a little bit, why not? Also, it's gonna give us some experience, I assume, so. Yeah, we're gonna need to upgrade uh, a little bit. Maybe we can make it bigger and just hire more people. Math Dwarfs! Oh, really? They've taken it off the mar market? Okay, so it's not worth... Cancel the project, yeah, abort. Let's make a new game. Or hire... research something. How about we get research going first? Let's put a research room over here, 4x3. Put a door in. It's gonna be a lot to do. It's gonna be a, a rough start, guys, but we'll get there. Not to worry. Okay. One desk. We'll just do fine. Um, head office. You know what? I'll make this room a little bit bigger. I can, right? I can make it bigger. No. Where is it? Change room size. There you go. Nice big development studio. I like that. Door stays over here right over to the toilet. So they don't have to walk a lot. Okay. Staff room. Don't need that. Training room. I'm intrigued, but I doubt I'm gonna need it. For now, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna move the desk over here. I'm gonna buy another desk. Because I'm gonna probably gonna hire someone. For now, two people will probably do fine. I need a head studio, but I can't do that yet. I gotta get my unlocks going. Own engine research feature. Oh! Research feature. Own engine. Oh, research sprites. Cool. Yeah, you're gonna start researching sprites, and you can do some contract work. Oh wait, did I cancel? Oh, I thought I did a game update, not contract work, but must have been doing it wrong. Yeah, there's no work right now waiting for me. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna hire someone else. Programming, how about a graphics designer? Reynold Rangelo, sure. Uh, you have now several employees, you can now build a lounge. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna build a lounge, that's n super not gonna happen. But I wonder if I can put a second desk in here to make research a little bit faster, because that is something I would really like to see. Nope, 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 not happening. I could probably in decrease the size here, or increase this size. Change room size, yeah, make this room bigger, because it's, it's so easy to just do that. Okay, desk. Give me another desk. There you go. Um, you know what? Just put three desks in here. We can research that feature real quick and then start developing our game. Um, hire staff. Can I just ha select all my staff at once? I know there's there are some ways to do this, but for now I'm just dragging them all in. Yeah, you're all going to research sprites. And vampires are still pretty hot, so I wonder if we can research the vampire topic. Vampires, where are they? Vampires. Okay, do this. We're just gonna have to invest that, and we're gonna need a loan soon, because we're not gonna be able to develop uh, a lot with that. Oh, we're gonna, it's gonna be so hot. It's gonna be the hottest new game on the market. Come on, guys. You don't need a vacation, you just need to work harder. That's all it's about. Good. In you go, thank you, thank you, thank you. Develop a game! Yes, please do that. Topic, obviously, it's gonna be vampires, and it's gonna be, I'm gonna call it bloodthirsty, blood, 
or bloodthirst. Bloodthirst. That's good. That sounds really good, actually. Um, that sounds really, really good. Uh, for dolls, let's go do something for dolls. It's gonna be a... Okay, a cade? Um, oh, joystick is required. Player must have quick reactions, hand-eye coordination to win. It's a skill game. It's obviously a skill game. You're gonna have to match uh, blood. Blood types. You're gonna have to match blood types. Actually, that might work. Without an engine, uh, it's, it's gonna be fine. Buy dev kits. Nah, we're gonna go on PC again. Here in this case, I'm not entirely sure what to do. I feel I'm just gonna keep it in the middle until we know what we're gonna do. Just keep it right in the middle. Fan letters. Oh yeah, some with longer game lengths. Puzzle. Mark is important. What? Okay, it's a puzzle game. It's not really important. I guess this has an influence on it. Gameplay. Let's wrap up gameplay. Bring the graphics down a little bit. And sounds. I uh, have good gameplay. And we're gonna sell in Germany as well. So, German translation happening. 28,000. We're gonna have to borrow another 50k. Ugh. Not, not a fan. But... That's the price, the development price we have to pay to make our game happen. Okay. Gotta worry about bugs. Bloodthirst, publish the game now. Find the publisher. Right, who wants, uh, this was a skill-based game. So Kremlins, oh, they give me seven, seven pop bucks anyway, so I'll, I'll go with that. Okay. Second game, you can now buy Dev Kids. Yay! And I released my second game. You should develop it for multiple platforms. Yes. How many percentage points do we get? Hmm. Not too shabby. 43%. Could be better. Topic in the trend, genre in the trend. Sweet. How about we develop an update for it? Develop game update or just a patch for Bloodthirst. The five bucks. Yeah, let's let's remove all bugs. It's gonna make people happy. Work, work. Please work. Okay, that went well. Contract work. Do we have any? No, we don't. Uh, you know what? Let's see if up developing an update does anything for Bloodthirst. Um, bug fix update. Don't need that. We really got rid of those. New campaigns. New levels. Sure. Sounds good. Cost us a thousand. I doubt we're gonna make the money back on it, though, but I'll uh, actually, we're selling a little bit, so if we push it a little bit further, make a little bit more cash monies on it, that would be great. A few more sales. If that ramps up sales, that'd be nice. Okay, so how about we send everyone over to research something cool, and then research others. What's that? Oh, yeah, right. Game size, not interested yet. Uh, research genres. RPGs, 50,000. Mm, console research. Oh. Oh, we can make our own console. I do not want to do that. You can probably do this now, but I guess we're going to develop a new game. Develop a game. Right. Uh, can't build a head office yet, right? Can I? Nope, it's still locked. We just have research and a staff room. I guess I'm going to need a staff room soon. <laughs> Fine. This is <laughs> this is absolutely the worst layout that I could have built, but whatever. Uh, staff room. Where would that be? Mm, seating, staff room, there you go. Here, you, you can have a couch. It's it's a room with a couch, isn't that? It's not a room with a view, but with a couch. I just realized that none of the rooms have a window. I think, no, this one has a window. Mm, here, it's all dark, no, nothing for that. Ha, ah, we're gonna develop a new game. Yeah, we're going to develop a new game in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one so far. We're doing okay. I'm going to have to take a new loans, but I think I can I can get there. I can get there. Uh, we're not bankrupt yet, so that's a win in my books. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the game, make sure to leave a like, share it with your friends, so I know you guys want to see more. Also, first part of the series. Always, impor always important to share. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'm Weasel. I'm out and hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Ba dum 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 ba dum